Welcome everybody to Christ Central Church. I'm Pastor Mark Williams. Um, I am the charge pastor for this church, Christ Central, and I'm so grateful to be here. Brothers and sisters in Christ at Christ Central Church, it has been just a little over a year since I took that charge. And I want to sincerely thank you for the opportunity that you've given us, the acceptance that you've given us, the support that you've given us, the love that you show Pam and I, we are grateful to be here. And we're grateful for the past year and we're looking forward to the next one. I wanted to be sure that you had a clear picture of all the things that happened last year and all the things that we're planning on uh, getting rolling this year too. Uh, this year, we'll continue to be rebuilding Christ Central Church, by strengthening our discipleship programs, our mission, our finances. Uh, we'll do this by intentionally spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ through mission and outreach, through building discipleships, through Sunday school classes and Wednesday evenings through our youth and through our kids, uh, our worship services, our concerts, the United Methodist Men and, and the hospitality team. You can help by continuing to ask everybody that you know, to come and see what Christ is doing at Christ Central Church. That's what we're hoping for is just more people showing up and us reaching out stronger into our community. Now we spent the last year uh, coming back together, rebuilding our worship service in our Sunday school and our Wednesday evenings. Um, we're now completely back in person in every way. We've had Sunday school and worship and Wednesday and concerts and fellowship meals and fall festivals and trunk or treats, food pantries, VBX, youth events, all kinds of stuff this last year. We are certainly involved with each other again in person. With that being said, we're still in the process of learning and growing together. We will be focusing in 2022 and 2023 on the power of invitation. We will be asking our friends, our family members, those we, we meet at work, uh, acquaintances, people that we just bump into on the street to come and see. This is how we continue to grow and fellowship. This is how we continue to grow and serve our community and spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Now, our mission and our vision has not changed and it won't change this year. Our mission has been advancing a Christ-centered community through loving relationships. And our vision is to be an unstoppable spiritual force to fulfill the Great Commission. We will continue to do this together as we move forward into the next year. Membership and attendance, well, in 2021, from J July 4th, 2021 to July 4th, 2022, we went from 266 to 258. Uh, a few people went on to glory. And, and a couple of people moved their memberships to other churches, too. Uh, I am proud to say, though, that this year, our attendance, our actual attendance and worship service has increased. It went from about 75 in an average to 87. And last year we added five new members. Two of them were baptized. One was a youth and one was an adult. Now we have to continue doing what I said, asking friends, family members, acquaintances, work people, people we just bump in to on the street to come and see what Jesus Christ is doing at Christ Central Church. This is how we continue to grow in every way and how we spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. As far as Sunday school and Wednesday worship going, we restarted our Wednesdays last year in the evenings at six o'clock with a fellowship meal and six classes, as well as the prayer uh, room opening up for prayer too. We went from November to May and wow, I'm going to tell you something. There's a point there where we were averaging 80% of our attending congregation, either in Sunday school or on Wednesday evenings. That is way above any average I've ever seen. And I am so proud of you. We even added the table group back into our mix of young adults. And we're so very proud and, and, and grateful to have them coming, joining us again. I'm proud of everything you did to step back into good discipleship. On Sunday mornings, we'll continue to have the two groups that are meeting at nine o'clock. We'll also be having an 830 prayer session. It's a come and go. So you can stop and pray a little and then go do the things that you have to do on Sunday mornings to get your classes started and, and things like that. And, and we'll be adding a new young adult Sunday school class facilitated by Donna Harwell. We have plenty of 20, 30 year olds that are in the church that we haven't been engaging well. And we're going to do better this year.
I am excited to say that we'll be restarting the Wednesday evenings on September 7th at 6 p.m. We'll once again have fellowship meals. Uh, Stanley Maroney is going to again be the coordinator for all of that, and we're thankful, Stanley. Also, the cl classes that we're starting will include Tim Reed and Stanley Maroney will do, be doing a finance class by Ramsey. Uh, Cole Bowling and the Table Group will be continuing to meet here. Uh, Jennifer Douthat is going to continue doing grow and small group. Um, the kids zone will be meeting and youth will be meeting too. And Matt Ford will be doing a Genesis class this year. Now, our lay leadership, those are the leaders of the church. We restructured last year. We have firmed up all of our teams and all of our committees to ensure better communication along all the teams and committees. Our goal is to ensure that in 2023, we have a leadership team that has a representative from every team and every committee. This is to ensure clarity and harmony and the passing of information so that we can be sure that we're all pulling in the same direction at the same time. This will strengthen us and it'll ensure that we have a strong leadership team. We have already added to each team and committee members across the board. Uh, new leaders have been put in place and have been in those teams working with them for a year, interacting with them so that there will be a very smooth transition between leaders in 2023 of January. Yeah. That's to, to ensure that we have a smooth transition from one leader to another. As far as mission and outreach grow, we, we are doing such a great job. The food pantry is feeding about 160 families each month. We still are supporting the Rileys, the Wycliffe, um, and, and Far East Radio. And, and last year, we even loaded some hurricane buttons over at, hurricane buckets over at the district office. The mission team will also be one of the leadership teams that is growing and changing. There are now 12 memberships on the mission team with representatives from each mission group and outreach that we're currently involved in. The next year, we'll continue to restructure mission and outreach in the church. We've agreed to maintain what we're doing as well as adding some things. Matter of fact, the table group has decided it would take on the shoebox ministry this year and help us be stronger in that. We're also in the process of establishing stronger mission statements that guide and direct the mission and outreach team. And we're involved in an ongoing mentoring sessions with Rhonda Dolling from TMS Global. These are all strengthening us in every way. Finances last year, finances were tough. There's no doubt about it. The last few years have been very challenging financially. In 2021, the mission decided to give the congregation a much clearer view of what was going on in their finances by reporting our monthly and quarterly giving expenses and attendance. Now, every Sunday, they're up on the screen so that you can see what's going on. They've also been added to our website in the membership part. We began a campaign last year to sure up our general budget and start paying down our mortgage. We've received commitments for almost $80,000 above and beyond our tithes and giving through commitment cards. We have also continued to reduce the budget the best that we could. Finance got together, went through every line item. We found $4,602.64 that we could cut out of our budget just by getting rid of some unessential expenses. The trustees were also able to refinance our mortgage, getting a $124,000 reduction and reducing our payments from $11,000 to $7,568.47 a month. We have also, through our mortgage reduction campaign, been able to pay the principal down an extra $5,620. We have another $5,098 in our mortgage reduction designation that we'll be using to reduce the principal even more as soon as we settle some paperwork we moved our accounts from Wells Fargo to Cadence Bank. Now, we will be starting at the end of this year to ask for more commitments. We'll do the commitment cards again at the end of the year so that in 2023, we can continue to strengthen our general budget and fund the mortgage reduction campaign. As far as the district and the conference go, at those levels, we've all heard that some of the United Methodist churches in our conference 
even in our district, have decided to disaffiliate. The ones that have, have been required to pay a uh, pastor pension based on a formula the comp conference is thought to be fair. Matter of fact, the conference even decided to use some of the uh, reserve funds to reduce the church's responsibility in that about 20%. Each of the disaffiliating churches are, are required to pay that and also to pay for their buildings and assets. Now we are among many churches our size who simply do not have the resources to do anything like this. The only recourse we have is to wait until general conference happens in 2024. And based on their decision, the decision of our conference and what they want to do, we will then have an opportunity to make a decision for ourselves, what Christ Central Church will do. As far as from now till then, I am really only worried about how well we do at Christ Central, how we fulfill the Great Commission by spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ, how we create good fellowship and good discipleship by being disciples, growing disciples. I'm worried about us and how we rebuild our church so that when we do get to 2024, we'll be stronger and able to make better decisions based on that strength. I hope you're able to get something from that this morning. May it be a blessing to you. If you have any questions, you can always go on the website and see all that information posted there, or you can call and schedule an appointment with me. I'd love to talk to you about it. I hope you're blessed again this year. I'm on my trip in the East Coast with my brother. I'm sure I'm having a ball right now. Be blessed. I will see you again soon. Thank you. Blessings.